Hello Care Freaks! Today, I'll show you how to make these super nice and easy pins. Although they are made by common materials, they have a very professional look. I personally love them. I made a bunch and I want to make a lot more. So, we're gonna need a template. Take in account that if the template have words on it, you have to print it, mirror it. As you can see. A pointed tool. It has to be like this one. Tape. The regular one works very fine. Foam. Aluminium packaging. Like a lot of restaurants deliver food in this kind of packaging. Brooch pins. Small scissors. Nail polish of the colors that you will need. A hot glue gun. And translucent school glue. And that's it. We will start by cutting our packaging. We need like the flat parts, like this one. In case you have like a very thin lines, so you can just press them and they will disappear. Once we have our sheet or piece of aluminium, we will take our template and tape it on top. As you can see here. Now, with the help of a pen, we will just um, draw it. If you have um, straight lines, you can use a ruler so you can make it more even and prettier. You have to press very hard, but not that hard so you can um, break the aluminium. So as you can see, you have to redraw it to make sure that everything is very even. Once you have done this, you, you're gonna flip it and with the pointed tool, what you're gonna make is just uh, make the lines to stand out, like I'm doing right here, I don't know if I'm... If you miss any line, you just have to flip it again and then uh, redraw it. You have to make a big contrast uh, between like the lines that they have to stand out and the parts that has to be flat. So it will end up something like this. Once you have it, you will cut off any excess, but not like um, just in general. <laughs> and then put uh, some hot glue on the back. Be careful because it's super hot right now. And what you have to do is just to fill um, the gaps, fill the lines. And put the foam on top. Now with the help again the, of the tool, you just um, press the corners and the parts that has to be flat. You have to wait until it's all cooled and then we will proceed to paint. My nail polish has this pointy tip but if not you have to use a brush. It has to be a very thin one and you have to be very careful. But don't worry, as is it nail polish, if you mess something, you just have to use a Q-tip and nail polish remover and it's super easy to clean. So now, you will just paint it as you want. Once you have it, now with the small scissors, you will just cut the shape of your logo or what you made. Like this, leaving just um, about 2 millimeters. And now with the help of something, you will just um, press the edges so they will not hurt you because the aluminium is very um, sharp. As you can see here. Now 
you will put some school glue on top and let it dry overnight you can uh, use mm, clear nail polish or the mud patch clear three-dimensional I guess is, or something like this uh, in this step but like this is cheaper <laughs> Make sure that um, the glue is covering every edge because this is what will protect your work and also will give it this beautiful shine. As you can see here, uh, I made some like the day before and they are completely dry. Now I just put some um, hot glue on the back and put the brush. It's very important that you make um, this step like putting some hot glue on top of the bridge so you will make sure that it will not fall. And that's it. Don't you think that they look super cute? I love them. <laughs> I'll show you some that I made and I want to make a lot more like I have a bunch of ideas you can also use them like I stick them in a shield and you can use them in a book as stickers there are so many options so that was everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it if you did please share it like and comment and subscribe for more so you will not miss any of our videos um, thank you very much for watching as always and yeah see you in the next week Annyeong.